Hello everyone, welcome to day one of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. This year we've really had a sense that what Jesus was saying to us is that he wants us to use these three weeks to make some time and space to be able to tune into his voice and hear what he's speaking over our lives as individuals but also over our life together as Restore as we step into this new season. So the whole idea about taking some time to fast is to create some space in life and to lay down uh, the power of the flesh but also to create space to be able to spend a bit of time worshipping Jesus and as we worship him as we read his word to hopefully hear him speak to us. Each day we're going to send out some uh, short devotions like this, which hopefully will be an encouragement to us on that journey. Today I want to start by answering the question, who can hear from God? Who can hear from God? Well, actually, the answer to that is really encouraging. And Jesus gives us uh, an answer in John chapter 10, verse 27. This is a great verse. Jesus says, my sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I'll read it one more time. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. And this is Jesus in the same passage that he talks about being a good shepherd. But when he's talking to the disciples, he simply says, my sheep hear my voice. And if you've got nothing to do today, uh, an interesting thing to do is to tap into YouTube and do a search on sheep recognising the shepherd's voice. And there's some great videos you can watch that are really encouraging. But the reality is a shepherd makes his voice heard to all of his sheep. And over these three weeks, I believe with total certainty that God wants us to hear him speak words of encouragement and hope over our lives. Second part of the verse, Jesus says, I know them. I felt it was really significant for some people, for me just to say this morning, God knows you. He knows what you're facing, he knows your challenges, and he is alongside you and with you, and wanting to give you hope and encouragement. You can do it because Jesus is with you and Jesus is in you. And the last part of the verse, and they follow me. And once we know that we're loved by God and we know that he loves to speak to us and we know that he's right alongside us, then we know that we can put into practice what he's spoken to us. I'm really looking forward to these three weeks and making time and space myself personally to hear what Jesus is speaking to me. And I hope you are as well. We'll see you again tomorrow morning.